Good afternoon, Tony again from Homa. And today we're going to go over a subject. I've been asked this question a few times on how we know what direction our lower bearings when we have double lower bearings on our pumps should go. So today we're going to go into that and explain to you very simply how it's done and what to look for when you're doing it. At the end of the video, there'll be a link to this drawing that you'll be able to find on our website at homapump.com. But basically what we're doing is on all Homa pump P frame motors and larger will be a face-to-face -face arrangement. There's usually two types of arrangements that we deal with. One is a back-to-back -back arrangement and a face-to-face. -face. All Homa pumps, again, P frame motors and larger will be a face-to-face -face installation. And what that's doing is if we look at the inner races on the bearing, you have a larger race face here and a smaller one here. What we're doing is we're matching those two bearings with the larger faces to the inside of each other so they're facing each other. So it's face to face. And then those smaller races are meeting on the outer portion of the outer race. So that's how you're going to tell the difference of a face-to-face to the back-to-back. -to -back. If the back-to-back -back was there, you'd have these two smaller ones onto the shaft, okay? So you see it on the drawing. We're going to go to a couple of bearings that I have on the table so you can actually look at a bearing and see those, those bearing races from that. So here now we have two bearings that we're going to be installing on the pump. Remember I said that a bearing has a larger face on the race and a smaller one on the back side. And the same with the outer race. You have a wider face and you have a thinner face. In the face to face, you're taking this wider side of that race and the wider side of this race on this bearing and you're installing them together. So on all our pumps, P-frame motors and larger, this is the configuration. So when you set it down onto the shaft, what you're actually looking at is the thinner inner race here and the fatter outer race. If you were to pull it off again, you are matching the two larger inner race faces together to make it a face-to-face -face arrangement. So hopefully this is showing you a very easy way to look at a bearing and understand how it's going to go on the shaft and again, this drawing that's up on the TV, there'll be a link to it. Um, again, I hope this is going to help you.